Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering. This time we're going to talk about experimental adjustment of our control loop, the parameters of our control loop. Well, there are several methods to do this. Yeah? One method was designed by the two American control engineers, uh, the John Siegel was one of them and the other one was Nathaniel uh, Nichols. Ziegler Nichols. Yeah, Ziegler Nichols is the method, and about Ziegler Nichols tuning, we are going to talk now. Yeah. The idea behind was that a crucial thing to stability is simply the gain factor. Yeah. So the idea of Ziegler Nichols was, yeah, find out the critical gain factor for your system. Yeah. So this, they decided, yeah, we are just going to use a P controller. And no I part, no D part, nothing, just the P controller and adjust the gain there. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Huh? So the result maybe looks like that. Huh? At small gains, where this is usually no issue. At some point in time, we change, yeah? and then it looks like that. Yeah? We've talked about this. Yeah? This might be the answer from, from the system. Yeah? So we have here a starting point, we have here a stationary end value and so on. Yeah? We talked about that. If you see something like this, the gain is too small, okay, here's the time, and here we have the controlled variable x from t, always, regardless of the, regardless of the color I'm using now. And at some point in time, you have reached a critical value, yeah, where this thing will go up, and then we will receive a constant swinging. Then we are at the stability. Yeah, this, this is the stability border. Yeah. Then we have reached the critical, the critical gain factor. So we just use the P controller here. Yeah. This is the thought, this is the one we are changing. Yeah. It's KR, yeah? the proportional factor. Yeah? So this, this is just a P, P controller. Once you have gained the P controller, yeah? this is K smaller than critical, yeah? K critical, and the red one, K equals. K critical. Yeah. And if you're even going above, this will simply go further. Yeah. The, the swing will get more. Yeah. Well, the downside of this method is, of course, that it, you need to find out the stability border. This is not doable on systems which are dangerous, right? So, yeah, you cannot just try. Yeah. with dangerous stuff and say, ooh, ah, now we are at stability border, ah, nice, yeah. we are on the razor's edge. Yeah. No. Yeah. So this is the downside of this method, that you really have to go to that point. If this is not possible with a system, eh, you have to use something else. Yeah. So we have here the critical gain factor now. Yeah. And we are receiving a swinging time, yeah? a period time. A critical period time of the stable swinging. Yeah? And out of these two parameters, Ziegler and Nichols developed a set of a set of 
parameters for the adjustment of the PID, of a PID or POPI controller, different set of parameters. Yeah? So if we are using a plain B controller, uh, then the rule is our adjustable proportional factor for the P controller shall be 0 0.5 times the critical one. Okay. This is the rule for P controller. Then we have also a PI controller. The rule of the PI controller, well the P part, yeah, KR, regulator gain factor is 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.45, sorry, times the critical gain factor and then we need the integration time, the reset time, Tn and this shall be 0 0.85 times this critical time here. Okay. This is the rule for a PI controller. And finally, we also have the rule for a PID controller. For the PID controller, our proportional gain factor is again a little bit higher. Yeah? This shall be 0 0.6 times k critical. Yeah? Then our integration time is 0 0.5. This is a little bit smaller. Yeah? So also more aggressive, the critical. Why can we be more aggressive? Because we have the stabilizing effects of a D element. Yeah? And the D element the lead time, the derivation time of this D element shall be 0 0.12 times this critical time. Huh? These are the rules. Huh? And of course, it strongly depends on the system. Huh? This is the disadvantage of, of, well, the system has some influence on those parameters. Yeah? The question is how, how exact can the system be pinned down by this critical gain factor and the critical time constant. Uh, depending on the system, you will reach better or worse results. Uh, there are even systems where the results are not even stable. Okay? That's how it is. Yeah? If you have a system where this thing fits, it fits almost perfect. Then there are systems out there not unusual systems, where this gives some at least stable uh, result. And then there are even systems out there, however they are very exotic, let's say, where this is not even stable. Uh. However, it's one known method. Uh. Tuning according, according John Siegel and Nathaniel I always think of Nathaniel Burns for uh, Nichols. <laughs> Nathaniel Nichols, of course. Yeah. Nathaniel Burns. Yeah. Next time we're going to talk another empiric method designed by three other persons. Yeah. About they are from the persons called Keen, Reswick, and Horner. Yeah. And what their approach is, we will hear next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.